Well, frankly, at this point, I'm starting to get super annoyed because it didn't fix the problem with the spark cutting out after the engine gets hot. This thing gets really, really hot. This is a 90 amp alternator. And I feel like I have everything wired correctly in terms of my, uh, you know, this idiot light coming in here. And this is the, uh, goes to the battery here. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just getting rid of this 90 amp alternator. I'm putting in this one, which is a 55 amp alternator that I've started to set up with a uh, pulley. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off uh, as this motor cools down and see if that fixes the problem. All right, well that was a royal pain in the ass. So I got this out. I had to loosen the two bolts on the, uh, the two sheet metal things on the left and right of the shroud to loosen this up, take off the throttle cable, take off the linkage, and here it is. So now I'm gonna swap that with this one. You know, I'm trying to figure out whether the engine is just overheating or whether this was overheating. This thing was just incredibly hot. So I'm hoping that it was the alternator that's bad and not just the 2332 getting way too hot and make, causing it to malfunction. All right. There's the 55, here's the old 90. So just, let's give this one last go with the, uh... all right, that ought to be in there. Now let's see if it'll actually fit and not rub. So, it spins smoothly. Appears to be good. Tighten that down. All right, I got the 55 amp alternator all in there. Just see how it works. All right. Well, it seems to work okay.